I would like to welcome you all very warmly to this landmark event on leveraging the SDRs for climate and development. Special thanks to the COP28 presidency and the governments of France and Japan for co-hosting this event with the African Development Bank and the Inter-American Development Bank with my brother, Alan. The reform of the global financial architecture must report, respond effectively to the rising fiscal costs facing countries to accelerate their development. To do so, we also need to adapt the instruments in the global financial architecture themselves, specifically the special drawing rights. To complement the IMS Poverty Reduction and Growth Trust and the Resilience and Sustainability Trust, the African Development Bank and the American Development Bank develop a third option, which entails the rechanneling of SDR through the multilateral development banks. There are three advantages to the MDB SDR rechanneling option. First, thanks to their unique business model, the MDBs can multiply by at least four times the SDRs allocated to them. This will transform the SDRs from static foreign reserve assets into dynamic lending instruments at affordable cost to finance development. The proceeds can also be used to support critical development challenges, including climate adaptation, food security, health, education, and infrastructure. They can also be used to boost capital resources for other public development banks. And I want to thank them for being here today. Second, the SDR allocation under the option will be at zero cost to the taxpayers in the SDR rich countries. The MDBs will pay the SDR interest rate at the IMF charges to countries that use the, or lend their SDRs. Third, the option assures the reserve asset status of the SDRs, which means the SDR donor countries or rich countries can still account for them for the SDRs as reserves. Given the strong political advocacy for the voluntary rechanneling of SDRs, the MDBs, by the African Union, the G7 and G20, and several of you that are here today that are big advocates of this, and I'm gr grateful, Ilana and I are very grateful to you, it is now time to collectively make this happen. I am very pleased that the IMF staff have been very supportive on this option, and I've indicated that it meets the reserve as a quality requirement for SDRs. What is needed now is to have five SDR providing countries that will rechallenge the SDRs to the African Development Bank, Inter-American Development Bank, and other MDBs. Countries that are unable, however, to uh, do the SDR rechalling can participate through the liquidity support agreement that will guarantee SDR contributions in the unlikely event of a balance of payment need. This is a crucial moment. Let us turn hope that this will bring into reality. A reality that will leverage the SDRs to deliver tens of billions of dollars in support of development. And then maybe the SDRs will qualify to also be called supporting development revitalization. That's also SDR. Together, let's make this happen. Thank you for coming. We appreciate your support. Thank you.